Hi everyone. Now we will learn how to upload and display images with the help of database in Laravel. So when we are talking about images and database, it, it never means like we have to store the images in the database. So we basically store the images in the file system and in database we just keep the path of the images and whenever we have to display them we basically get this path from the database and display the images on the UI. So for that what, uh, what we need to do first of all we will make a database table so that we can store the path of the images while uh, uploading then we will make view controller model and route after that we will uh, upload the images in the file system store the image path in the database display the images and at last We'll discuss some important interview question and test, test this flow and this is the playlist for laravel 11 tutorials that will definitely help you out for laravel project job and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part so let's uh, first visit the php my admin and here we have a database name with the laravel so i'm creating one more table and let's say my table name is, is images uh, and create this uh, table and let's put the column names there id and that will be integer and you can uh, put the, put the length is 10 or 20 whatever you want and then we can uh, say that it will be the auto increment so we don't need to uh, increase the id by one uh, every time after that we will put their path and it will be the where care then the path can be a little bit longer so we can just put their 100 then create at like uh, when our image is created and we can give the size 30 and if we have to update the path then for that that we have the updated field and uh, we will again use the date for this and the for created again we have to use the date and the size of this will be again a 30 then we can save it and for now you can see that we have the images table there but there is no data at all for now right so whenever we will upload the data will be automatically come there the next thing that we need to do we have to create controller view model and route so now i am going to the terminal and uh, creating one controller there so php artisan make controller and controller name can be let's say image controller hit enter then create a model php artisan make model and model name will be image so we know that there is a pattern to create the model in laravel so if our uh, database table name is images then we should keep our model name is image so the model name will be singular and the table name will be plural so hit enter all right after that we have to create two views also so just write there php artisan make view and uh, their view name is first upload and we'll create one more for uh, display all right so now you'll find that we have two views there in the resources which is we just created one controller and one model like this so first let's uh, display the uh, uploading form there so for that i am going in the upload.blade.php and let's put their h1 tag for upload image or something after that let's create a form will be the post type and inside this let's add a field input field the type of file and the name will be the file only you can give any name to it after that we can give a br and a button and button text can be let's say upload and we also need to use their csrf token yeah and whenever we are uploading any image or any file then we have to give a ink type multi-part data form so that we so that code get to know this is an something file right this is a multimedia thing so just use their ink type then yeah then we can put their multimedia um, it is a multi part actually not multimedia then uh, form data like this all right okay so to visit this we need to create a path also so just go to the routes web.php 
and then just put their route colon colon view we can mention there and the path for this route will be upload and the view name again will be the upload right yeah we have to start our php artisan server again which we forget so let's start it and let's put there upload so now you can see the form there perfect so now we can select the image and whenever we'll click it it will submit somewhere but where it will submit we have to give the path there right so for now we don't have any path so where we will submit it to the controller obviously so let's create a function there function and function name will be upload or you can put any name to it that doesn't matter actually name doesn't matter you can give anything and then we will use this request class to get the request params right and uh, for a moment to just check this is working fine or not just mention there upload function called or something yeah and now we have to create a route or a route for this okay so just simply put their use then controller after that use uh, image controller there and let's create a path right so if you want then you can cap, uh, keep this uh, c capital because i just uh, by mistake just keep this smaller because smaller will just show a typo so if this is a capital that would be better the right that's that's fine so then route and we will just create a post request there the path will be post or uh, upload and then in the second parameter we will basically use image controller colon colon class and there we'll give upload the function name right and this function is already created just be created there this is function so now this path we have to put in the upload like this right and uh, then if i just refresh and select any file and upload this then you can see that this function is getting called perfect so the next thing what we need to do we have to store this file in the uh, file system first and for that keep in mind you have to run one command if you want to make it public because by default if you will upload the files they are going you can say that in the uh, private directory so if you want to use these files actually path and everything then just run this command to your root directory which is php artisan storage colon link yeah right so after that uh, it should work fine completely fine yeah and one more thing you have to start it again yeah and now you'll see that this is perfectly working fine okay so after that you have to use just one functions to store these images so just keep one variable dollar path and for now you will see that in let me show you the function in the storage app there is no folder and there is no file at all and similarly in the this public folder there is no uh, storage folder and no path at all so just keep one path variable and simply use dollar request then file function and what is our file name there you can see that this is a file only right so you have to use this file and uh, after that just use store function and the path of folder so i want to store it in the public folder right and after that you can return this path the file should be stored if everything is will be fine so let me refresh and select any file so i'm selecting this file request middleware controller view and if i just click on the upload now you can see that we have a public path there so come back there go to the uh, you can see that uh, public storage there we have this file similarly if you just go to the storage and then public then still we have this file so file is properly upload right so now we have to store this path in the database but there is a one more thing we don't want to store this public folder name right we just need this uh, file name only so for that first we have to remove this public underscore from this 
URL and then we'll uh, not URL actually image path and then we'll store in the database. So for that, let's take another variable path array, right? So I will just break this uh, URL in a array, then I will use a second element of this. So there is a function we call explode and in the explode function, first we define like on the which behalf we want to create array and in the second parameter we will use the path like this. So if I just return, then use path array and uh, then we'll see, now you can see that we have the two elements. So if I just print their second element, it will second element is one, then it will just display the path only. Right. So we are hitting this URL again and again. So you will find that there are lots of images which are stored in the database. Right. So but that's fine. We have to display only one, one image. So then you can see that image path. You can store it there. And then you have to import the model name. Right. So our model name is image. So I'm using there use and I'll put uh, app then models then uh, after that model name which is image yeah and there you can create a, you can see that image object from this model new image like this right so the next thing that we need to do uh, just create the so uh, here you can see that in the database we have the path uh, field right so in the image path we will store this uh, img dollar dollar img path uh, value right and after that image and save function will use so it should be stored in the database so if i just go back there and upload any other image maybe i'll upload this laravel 11 tutorials or something and click over there okay you can see that okay we just forget to return anything right so if i just return it now you can see that, that we are getting one there so because we just refreshed this so there should be two images in, in our database you can see that if you want to delete one then that's fine you can delete but there now we have the two images so the next thing you can mention if this is true what we'll do we will just echo something or return something return image or maybe just proper something text uh, image uploaded or something right and uh, if i just say it again then you can see that image is uploaded and now the three images should be there perfect so image image is uploaded now the next thing that we need to do we have to create a one more function there that will give the list from the database for the all images right so i'm creating one more function there function list and there again we will use uh, you can say that uh, image data or something and there we will use that image model image colon colon all right and we can simply return their dollar image data like this so if i just ref okay so for that we need to create path also so i'll go to the web.php and there i'll create one more path so the path will be get type and this, this is returning the list so i'm just putting the function and path name list also and it should be the same like this function name and this array element right so if i just go for the list then you'll see we have the four three all these three images you can check these the path also they are the same as the images so next thing is whenever we are uh, loading this list right so uh, a view should be visible there with the image list so what i'll do there i'll just call a view function and we know that we have a display uh, view right and in the second parameter so i'm passing the data there so image data something and it should be in the form of string 
and there we'll use image path uh, image data actually right so right now uh, this view will be loaded there if i just load this image you can't you will not seen anything reason being because this uh, you can see that file is empty for now there is not nothing to display right so now i'll just show one h1 tag and just show that image list or something right and now you can see that so we are passing the data uh, with the image data key right so now what we can do we can use the for each loop and that will be uh, and now the image data will be used as a variable there so image data adds dollar image and then you can put and for each and then we'll say image and the source of image will be we have to this is little bit dynamic so we'll use their double curly braces then url and the folder name so folder name here you can see that storage right so the single quotes use storage then slash and after this slash just use dot so that we can concate the path name there and path name is coming from the database with this image variable so just use dollar img path and if i just refresh this you will see that we have the all of the images there right whatever we are uploaded there but they are like little bit larger they are not actually fit to the screen so what we can do there we can add style there width can be let's say 200 pixel or something after that we can use margin also so margin let's say 20 pixel and if i just display now you can see that all images are displaying there so if you want to uh, okay so this is perfectly uh, displaying there so the next thing maybe you want to uh, display a link so that you can upload the file so just put there upload and just write there upload more files and to display some some distance there uh, you can simply use their uh, br tag maybe one or two br tag you can use there and you will find some difference there so if i just select one more so so let's say i'm just uploading this image clicking over there and this image is uploaded and now if i go to the list this image is visible there the thing is once the image is uploaded it should be automatically redirected to the list so for that in the case of return what i'll do there i'll use a redirect method and put the list path there and now it should work fine let's try to upload any other image let's say dev in click over there upload and now you can see that this image is perfectly uploaded so that's how we can upload the images with the help of database if you have any confusion query you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment section and this is my pay team number for donation thank you so much guys